Now, in the last lecture, we talked about a couple of approaches uh, of capturing screenshot. We have uh, seen how to uh, capture uh, a full page screenshot and even how to capture uh, the element screenshot. And we have created a couple of uh, utility methods over here. Now, let's say uh, if I talk about this website, waytoautomation.com, uh, if I navigate to this website, uh, you can see it's uh, a long page website. It's, it's actually a complete page, right? I mean, you scroll down, you see so many interfaces over here, right? Now, what happens if I uh, use the method instead of capture element screenshot, if I just say capture screenshot? And if I try to capture a screenshot for the entire page, Okay, so now uh, if we look back uh, at the captured screenshot, uh, if I go to the location where the screenshot got captured, then this is a very recent screenshot, right? 4554, yeah. So if you see the screenshot is captured only this much not the entire uh, page of the website is captured, right? Maybe the element that I was looking for is uh, down at some page, uh, down at this page, but it has captured only the visible screen, right? So uh, prior to Selenium 3, in Selenium 2, there was a functionality is used to capture the entire page from top till bottom, no matter how big the, how long the page is, uh, how long the web page is, it, it used to capture from uh, top till bottom of that page. But in later Selenium 3, this functionality uh, is no more there. So what we can do, there is an additional API uh, that is specifically designed for capturing screenshots. It's called as A Shot. A Shot, uh, if you search for A Shot, you'll find this over here. It's basically uh, a web driver extension only for screenshot utility. You can take screenshot of a web element, uh, you can take the entire page screenshot. It's a huge API, right? You can try going through it. So in order to work with this API, you need a jar file. So you go to MVN repository and search for a shot. Download the latest version of this jar, 1.5.4. So copy this and go to your pom.xml file and add it over here like I've already added it, right? So just add this jar file and uh, let's see what this, uh, how this will gonna help us in capturing screenshot. So I'll create a new class and I'll say uh, test screenshot using a shot, right? So we'll try capturing both element screenshot as well as uh, the entire page screenshot. So first, let's start with the entire page. So in order to capture entire page screenshot, uh, what we need to do, let's say web driver, driver equal to new Firefox driver. And uh, there's a class that we need to uh, call. We need to create an object of a class uh, using screenshot, uh, screen, shot equal to new a shot right basically a shot is the class which we are creating object for import this and say uh, dot okay it's basically a shot as in capital right so dot shooting strategy and uh, inside st shooting strategy, th this is a method uh, of setting the policy for taking a screenshot. There's another class called a shooting strategy. So in the argument, you need to call that class shooting strategy dot, uh, it basically strategies, strategies, strategies dot, and one of the method is view port pasting. 
uh, which accepts your scroll out time. Scroll out time as in if I give uh, 1000, this is equal to 1000 milliseconds. Basically what happens while capturing a screenshot, it will gonna scroll on your page. Scroll as in uh, it will go over here. It will capture a screenshot for this page, then scroll down, then capture for this page, then scroll down, then capture for this page. So one, one second it will gonna take to scroll down and then that, that is how it will go to capture the entire page. We'll, we'll see the execution, right? Just be with me for some time and see how this is being used. Then I'll say dot take screenshot and pass on the driver reference. That's it. So this is what we need to use. And then we uh, need to form up an image using image IO class, image IO dot write, uh, write, and then in the image, I'll be passing our uh, screenshot dot get image. So using this class, call the method dot get image. Format could be JPG, could be PNG, JPG. And output will be in a form of a file. So new file. And inside your screenshot folder, you can use timestamp as well, right? You can write this thing in a utility method that we have created and say a short uh, image dot jpg, right? Like this, import this file, add exception, and that's it. This is, that. I mean, that is all you need to do in order to capture a full page screenshot. And let's run this and see how it works. See, it is doing all it all on its own, capturing the screenshot for each screen from the entire page. Right? And done. And now let's see how the screenshot looks like. Okay. Don't worry about these messages. Let's see if the image is captured or not. See, a shot IMG. And see entire page screenshot. Right? Right? So the entire page is captured. Still I can see there are a bit challenges in this API as well, because I can see some part is cut from here, right? Yep. But yeah, I mean, uh, this is up till, I mean, we can capture this much at least uh, using the A short thing, right? Same can be used for capturing element image as well. So you need not to do anything additional like we did a lot of things uh, while capturing element screenshot. We have used all these approach like point and height and width. In uh, A short API, what you need to do is uh, there's a like there's additional overloaded method while you are uh, taking a screenshot. So while passing take screenshot driver, you can pass your element over here. Then it will capture the element screenshot. So element is what we are providing. So we are taking the screenshot of this image, the logo image, right? The entire image. So just you need to provide your element over here. That's it. And I'll name it as image element.jpg. So let's save this and run this and let's see. And this time it uh, won't navigate down. It will just gonna take the screenshot of that particular element. So let's close it and 
let us look over here the element is this see this time it is not coming in this orange color so it's actually capturing that area right so this is how you can use the a short api as well instead of if you think that the code is very lengthy uh, from initial web driver uh, api to capture element screenshot and if this method is not working for you uh, for capturing and that page screenshot then go ahead with this a short api all right thank you